Hi everyone, this is Allura, and I have here the six new cream blend blushes that MAC recently has released. These will be available March 3rd in stores, and then usually a couple of days before they're released in stores, you can get them by buying them online. So just keep an eye out if you really want to get them as soon as possible. These are $19.50 each, and these are supposed to be the new formulation of the cream blushes. MAC used to have the blush creams, and those were discontinued, so this is kind of the replacement product. There's a total of six shades in this new collection. The first three are names you've probably heard before. On the left is Britwit, in the middle is Lady Blush, and on the right is Posy. And those were names that MAC had in the blush cream formulation previously, and we will see in a bit whether or not the colors have moved over into this new line um, in exactly the same way, so I'll do a color comparison for you. Here are the next three colors, starting from the left, is So Sweet So Easy, and you probably remember that from the Lilyland collection. It was the same item, the same color that came out then. In the middle is Something Special, and on the right is Tea Petal. And those last two on the right side are brand new colors, never before released. Okay, so before I do swatches, I want to compare the old formulation colors to the new formulation colors. I have in the old formulation Brit Wit and Lady Blush. I could have sworn I had Posy somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. So for now, we'll just compare these first two. Okay, so in the palette already, I've put in um, Brit Wit, and this is the pan form in the new formulation. So this color here is in the old formulation. This is the um, blush cream that I've had. So you can see that they are not exactly the same, but they're pretty darn close. Um, so I think MAC wanted to keep the colors the same and the names the same. So there's the comparison for Britwit. New formulation, old formulation. Now here's Lady Blush. In the, the compact again is the old formulation. This is the blush cream. And the new formulation, I bought it in a pro pan so that I could put it in this palette. And so this is the new Lady Blush here. Now with this color, the names are the same, but the, there is a pretty clear difference in color. I mean, not a huge difference so that they are completely different colors, but um, they aren't exactly the same. The old formulation is definitely more pink, whereas the new Lady Blush in the cream blend formulation is more of, um, it has more of a brown undertone to it. So I think what happened is that MAC was trying to keep the colors the same along with the names, but um, at least with Lady Blush, they aren't exactly the same. When I swatch them, we'll see how close they are um, when you actually apply them on the skin. Okay, so let's start with Brit Wit. I'm going to swatch it first um, with the new formulation, and I'm just going to use my fingers because blush creams are a great product to use your fingers with. You can also use a brush. If you use a brush, I would really recommend using a stippling brush so that you don't get a really heavy application. Okay, so here it is in the new formulation, the cream blend. And then I'm going to also swatch next to it the old blush cream formulation, just so you can see the color comparison. So on the skin, I mean, there is a slight difference. The new formulation is a little more dusty, but really once you blend it out, you probably won't be able to tell. So if you already have Brit Wit in the old formulation, I wouldn't say that you need to go out and run and get the new formulation because they look very, very similar on the skin. Um, in terms of the texture and application, they feel pretty much the same. Um, the new formulation is a little creamier. The old formulation maybe is slightly more um, tacky, but honestly, it's not a huge, huge noticeable difference. Next, I'm going to swatch Lady Blush, starting with the new formulation in the Cream Blend formulation. All right, and then next to it, I'm going to swatch the old blush cream, Lady Blush. All right, now, unlike with Brit Wit, which is pretty similar, Lady Blush is pretty distinct. The new Lady Blush color is definitely more coral, I would say, or actually peach, 
has a more peach tone, and then the old lady blush is much, much more pink in tone. So, you know, if you're interested in, in the new cream blushes, it's definitely worth going out and getting it. Even though it's the same name, they are pretty distinct colors on the skin. And third, I'm gonna swatch Posy. And my guess is, I don't, I can't seem to find my old Posy in the old formulation, but my guess is that, you know, the colors will be somewhat similar. Okay, so up close, first two on the left um, are Brit Wit, and this is in the new formulation. MAC describes this as a dusty, rosy, um, mauve color, and I think that's very accurate. That's a very accurate color description. Next is Lady Blush, here, and here's the new color. And this is a warm, neutral color. Again, a pretty accurate color description. And the last one over here is Posy, which Max says is a warm peach. There is a peach color to it. Um, I think there's also uh, just a slight coral color to it. It has kind of a, um, an orange leaning color in there. All right, next is So Sweet, So Easy. And remember, this was released with the Lily Land collection. So just before you pick it up, just make sure you don't already have it. And then is something special. And last is tea petal. Okay, so up close, starting the left with So Sweet, So Easy. This is a bright yellow pink color. It's definitely cool toned, so it has a yellow undertone. In the middle is something special, which is a light coral color. And I would say there's a little bit of peach in there also. And then on the right is Tea Petal, which is described as a reddish brown color. Okay, there you have it with those six new cream blend blushes. Remember to check your makeup collection to see if you have Lady Blush or Posy or Brit Wit from the previous formulation. Um, they're not all exactly the same colors, but you know, they may not be different enough for you to go out and have to spend another 1950. I will have a full review of these on the blog, and I will put that link down in the bottom bar. I will have pictures of them applied to the cheeks so you can see how they actually wear and look on the skin. And I also have up an overview of the Genius collection that will come out March 3rd and the Sheen Supreme lipsticks, which will also come out March 3rd. So if you want to see any of those, I have videos of those up already and reviews. So go check the blog, go look at the bottom bar for the information. And also make sure you enter the Urban Decay Naked Palette giveaway and all the other giveaways that I have going on on the blog right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.